They probably hear the sounds of explosions on the outskirts of their city, like shells bombarding Islamic State positions, and a U.S.-led airstrike destroying what officials say was an Islamic State car bomb factory. Mosul's 1.2 million civilians who spent the past two years under ISIS rule almost certainly smell the smoke from oil wells that the extremist fighters have set ablaze to the city's southeast. But what Mosul's residents know about what's happening is unknown. Iraq's government hopes they're listening to radio broadcasts directed specifically at them, including this announcement on Monday from Iraq's prime minister. These forces that are liberating you today, they have one goal in Mosul, which is to get rid of Daesh and to secure your dignity, and they are there for your sake. The Iraqi-led, U.S.-supported military operation is underway, beginning with Iraqi and Kurdish forces securing positions on Mosul's outskirts. What's likely to be a nasty, brutal, and long urban warfare campaign is still to come. This may prove to be a long and tough battle, but the Iraqis have prepared for it. As the urban phase of the fight approaches, here's the big question. How tough will that battle be on civilians? The UN's humanitarian coordinator for Iraq lays out what might happen. You know, a worst-case scenario in Mosul would look something like this you would have mass expulsion of hundreds of thousands of people. Right. You would have hundreds of thousands of people who are held as human shields inside the town. Right. You would have a chemical attack that would put tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even more, at grave risk. The UN projects 200,000 people may try to flee Mosul in the first few weeks of fighting. The UN says only 60,000 people can be accommodated in six emergency sites and camps that have been set up. If you were to see a forced population movement of more than 150,000 people, at that stage, there isn't an institution in the world that can cope with that scale of movement. Trying to head off a mass civilian exodus, the Iraqi army dropped leaflets on Mosul on Sunday. They tell residents that airstrikes won't target civilians. The leaflets also advise them to stay at home and not believe rumors spread by ISIS. Another message from the Iraqi army that's also in the easier said than done category, when the battle begins, rise up against Islamic State.